Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Cry of Fear with my extra horse voice. I've, uh... I may have mentioned this, but I am getting a little ill. What the fuck just happened? So, back in Cry of Fear. Stopped right before I think I was about to saw a fat man in half. What the fuck was that? To get the key for that door, right? Use it. I've seen this trick. It's all done through mirrors. Rusty key. How did you saw a circle in him? This looks more like you drilled into him. My cat's crying at me. I think he wants to be fed some more. Probably isn't that hard to... make it so key items are automatically used upon going to something. Oh, wow. Good thing I saved. It's that same fucking brand of lamp again. I missed the jump scare. I'm gonna fucking load the game because I think I saw... Oh, it's You Will Die. Okay. What did I miss? Oh, there was a lady there. Okay, I will die. I got that. Uh-huh. <laughs> the way the head jiggles. Uh, is that a man with a box for <laughs> And then we got another one of the, the creepy ladies. Oh, it's blood. Oh, no. Oh god, I feel like a new metal song. What do you think? I think it sucks. Do you like this? Okay, I know it's just because the blood is dripped. That is so loud. One moment. I'm gonna turn that down a little extra. I'm gonna turn myself down as well because I feel like I'm blowing up my microphone. Alright. Do you like this? You don't know anything. If you could just understand your pain? I never wanted this. Okay, now we're in a crappy funhouse. Eh. Gotta fit Simon's fat cheeks through this door. I just want you to die. Just die. You know, now I've gotta turn down my sound because that really... Whoops. Click back into the menu. Oh, it's hands. I'm being groped. The door locked itself, I'd better run. See, an issue with this sort of thing is that when you begin to take damage from a floor, usually you're like, oh, I better turn back. It just groped me. So I'm looking at these hands right now. They aren't even that sharp. Okay, I will die. Why exactly will I die? Boo. The way that his head is wiggling. I think he's got a book for a head. Oh yeah, that's an enemy. The, the Facebook. It's not what they're called, but... Do, do, do. So yeah, you can see why this game is like a very derided for being like quote unquote emo because like right now even the walls are telling me you'll never understand my pain it's impossible what's that fucking song where it's like you don't know what it's like 
Welcome to my life. I forget I forget who sings it, but like that song is it's so like trash. Should I be healing myself? Okay, inject it. Damn. Okay. I guess I can just start with as equipped, right? Yep, uh, hello. Bookman. It's almost like tacky, you know? Okay. Probably shouldn't be using my staminas. All right, now I don't know that this is the right way. I'm just kind of assuming here. It looks like the syringe gives you more stamina too, which is good. Police line, do not cross. Are those still written in English in Sweden? Damn it. What was that? Boost the sound. Am I going insane? Shit. Shit. Wonder who that sick doctor is. Must have done something to me. He's wearing a gas mask and I'm not. Uh, so the city isn't safe, guys. Climb this pitch black ladder. Yeah, I just kind of stopped going up there for a second. You know, okay. So I went through a door. And that door spit me out into a hallway. And that hallway led to a ladder. I went up the ladder. And then I went into this hallway. Why? What, what was the point of all those? Like, as far as I know, those doors are literally there so they can load the next area. But, like, what was the, what was the point of it? Uh, sir, your window appears to be painted onto your house. There's a lot of those, actually. You okay? You'd better come now. I'm getting worried. From mom. Zambambo! BRB fighting zombies. So notice that that guy also has a leg thing because he limps. And his legs are all bloody. So now you can see that um, the the city is being affected. Ronald Street. So you're going to take the subway from Hanson Square to get to home. You need to head to Saxon Avenue first. Connie there. Love Rabbit. Polis covered in blood. See, I would see this and be like, maybe the subway isn't running right now. Like, considering that there's a barricade made of dumpsters, cars, including police cars, by the way, uh, a single bicycle. We've got a van. There's a tree that's been knocked over. Like, did Simon not comment on this? And 
And see, there's that too. Like, what? Oh, it's got a face in there. And you know, you also like, it's also an immobile, like big lump of flesh. Like it can't go anywhere, can't move. So you know, there's that. Oh, hello. <laughs> the way he got out of there was so corny. I'm trying to get my fat ass into this vent. <laughs> oh, it's so goofy. So, um, I just, uh, um, as I may be able to tell by the date of record, uh, I just beat ODST <laughs> on Legendary. Um, because ODST just came out. That sucks, bro. Anyway. Ronald Street. This is the sewer passage. Why would this be built? Like, why, why does this room exist? It appears to be that the only way to get into this room is by that vent or this one. Right. Jesus, there's a fucking army. Guys, this is just really unfair. Here, take me. See, that's what happens if you get too close to it, by the way. You get glomped like you're at an anime convention. Jesus, there we go. My pocket shotgun out. I missed. How could I miss? He was three feet in front of me. I've definitely brought this up in the past. But I, I, I really like Mulan and to see what has happened to it in the uh, the Disney remakes. Oh, there's this little wood thing here. You couldn't possibly get over that. Is this the right thing? Yeah, it's impossible to get over that. The streets look so empty and hollow, and like, it's it's actually a pretty good, um, detail. It feels creepy. Uh, it feels sufficiently creepy. Plus, this thing just like sitting here, and like, it's tunneled out of the asphalt to do so. Uh, honestly looks pretty sweet. Like, what with how creepy it is? Okay, what am I actually supposed to do?
Anyway, Mulan. I've definitely talked about this before, but in the, the, the crappy Disney remake, the fucking dumbass who I think is the director is in an advertisement, and she's sitting in a fucking interview, and she's like, the world of Mulan is so interesting. Like, you mean China, bro? Is the word you refer to here, like, medieval or imperial China? I don't know what, um specific time period the remake is in because I haven't bothered to watch it. Oh, whoops. Uh, I'm going to take a little break while I uh, figure out where the fuck I'm actually supposed to go. <laughs> hey, I'm back. So, um... Yeah, as it happens, I'm supposed to have an item that I don't have. Uh... And it's, it's a little nightstick. And I don't know why I don't have it. Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, you can kill him. Cool. Probably shouldn't have wasted a shotgun shell on it. You know, it's crazy how that looks so much like Michael Myers. Anyway, yeah, I missed the nightstick. And I literally don't know where it is. Long loading screen. Was it loading a jump scare? Oh, that ain't good. Sometimes I think the way that this game handles things needs a little more work. Alright. Let's see what the name of this area is. Ronald Street Alleyway. Shit's chained, can't open it, wonder why. <laughs> he literally goes black. All right. Go with this thing first, and let's walk backwards. Of course, you can't kiss, uh, skip cutscenes. Why would you ever want to do that? Can't remember if I'm actually supposed to fight this guy or not. I kind of just want to kill him. You know, I think that this might end up being the first, like, bad game I've ever played. Oh, boy. <laughs> like, again, not that this game sucks. Completely, at least. But it definitely is not perfect. Like, I would say that other games on this engine are better. I've got fucking chaos stuck in my head. You know, that might have been the door out of here. Oh no, never mind. I like how Simon's death animations always have him go, and then he falls with his hand on the ground. Big ominous crickets. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, hello, sir. Missed you there. So there's a there's a moment from Silent Hill 2 that is uh, one of my favorites, even though it is very low impact and it doesn't even do anything in game. But there is a, a a character known as the prisoner, and I say character pretty loosely in that um, it has no lines, it has no in-game appearance. Um. It says or does nothing and has no impact on the story. But the prisoner is... Okay, so the main character, James, is at a... Uh, is in a, a, a... A prison. Forever J. Egg? So yeah, James is in a prison. Um, and at one point, if you walk past a cell, you'll hear something weird. And if you lock on... Um, there's an enemy in a prison cell that because of the fixed camera that Silent Hill has always used well that the good ones used um, you can actually see in the prison cell and you can't see what is in there what if something will show up behind me well speak of the tacky annoying devil So no, yeah, you can you can literally just lock on this to this thing, and you can shoot through the bars and kill it. Um, doing this has absolutely no impact on the game. It does nothing. The only reason that it's to be there is to make a point. And I like the point that oh, there's the nightstick. Okay, so I don't know what was happening then. But um, I literally watched a walkthrough. I, I just uh, skipped to chapter three. And then went right to here. Uh, right to the place that I was. <laughs> she was going to go for a hug for a second there. Can I dual wield with the nightstick? I can. Useful. Anyway, right, so the prisoner. Um, so yeah, it has no impact on the story. But it has to do with the theming of the game. In the same way that the theming of this game is suicide, depression, self-harm, uh, being stuck in one place and being unable to move. Uh, a lot of the theming of Silent Hill 2 is someone trapped and the, the idea of a, of a mercy kill. Oh god. But yeah, the idea of a, of a mercy kill. So it's up to you. Like, does James do that mercy kill? Does he does he restrict himself to to people that he actually cares about? And that's interesting. Uh, it's an idea I really like from uh, Silent Hill Two. The way that like it weaves its well everything into the the narrative. Who moved to this couch here, you know? Like, Simon has to see this and be like, huh, that's weird. Anyway, so I guess I just learned that this game has a new game plus then. Since otherwise, how would one come back to uh, earlier missions with items like the nightstick. Shit's locked. What I'm getting at here is that I wish I was playing Silent Hill 2, a much better game. 
Actually, you know what? I don't know if I'll even say that. Because, okay, this, this is a very specific opinion I have. So wait until I'm finished uh, saying my opinion before you, you kill me. But Silent Hill 2 is not a good game. However, it is an amazing story. And the game intentionally suffers on that account. It's a very intentional thing. Because, like, Silent Hill 2 has crappy fucking melee combat, right? And, like, it's Konami. It's not going to be Metal Gear Solid. You know, you're not going to be doing sick CQC combos and, like, grappling enemies and shit. And anyone who thinks Silent Hill should have uh, good combat is an idiot who doesn't understand the point of Silent Hill. Because the point of it is that even if you can fight the monsters, it sucks and is awful to do. And it's kind of pointless. It's a very specific part of the game. Speaking of which, I'm lost. Which, uh means that I should shut up and focus on where I'm going. However, I will just talk about Silent Hill 2 some more. Wait, maybe I can use this. Oh! Weird. But that seems to be what that is, right? Oh, yeah, okay. What was the point of that? Like, I know that they... Because, they, like, think about the game designers here, right? The game designers made this room and then put that barricade in the staircase so you'd have to go do the little, like, platform. Why? So anyway, yeah, like, the, the point of Silent Hill is that it should suck to fight enemies. Look, someone crashed this car just to stop me from going over there. It's an invisible wall around the pond, because they didn't want to program swimming, even though I think it was already in uh, Half-Life 1. Which means that they took swimming out. Could be what that means. There's a tiny little ankle-high barrier here, which stops me from jumping over there. And going into the inky blackness? That doesn't appear to be a building, that's just a big white box on top of this actual building. What? Okay, why is this statue so little? Like, normally when you see a statue on, like, a big, super, like, heroic, like, big romantic plinth like this, it's like some giant, like, war hero. But they picked a they picked what appears to be a little hawk for it. Or, or a kestrel or something, you know? Like I like a bird of I, I, I like birds of prey. The Gail Simone comic and uh the subset of bird. Or maybe these are real birds that they just cast in bronze. An owl statue. Oh, you can actually click on them. That's funny. I want to go back and click on this one now. Eagle statue. Sometimes I kind of hate in uh, in adventure games when the character says some dumb shit. You know, why would they block me from going over here if I can just go over here anyway? Is it another thing where they wanted to force the player to walk through here? Because again, why? Horse statue. Lion statue. I think you've got a goat statue there. Yeah, that looks more like a cow. Yeah, that's a cow. Yeah, see, I think this I think this game might be a case of the left hand not knowing what the right is doing. Which is uh, an amazing saying that I love so much. A simple compass made of stone. 
where like this dude made this like park and like put all these things in it that you can click on but the actual path forward is right there you have no reason to go through the park so then afterwards they put a whole bunch of shit in the environment to force you to take the long way around <laughs> Gustav Dahl Park silently she flew quiet as a whisper in the dark came upon a river heading south king of all birds flew higher than the owl gloating as he went four-legged carnivore Sneaked by side by side to his prey, ready to strike whenever movement was made. Equestrian beast didn't want her sleep to come, so she fled to the west uncalm. Okay. Like, based on that, I imagine I have to do a puzzle here. So if I leave this area with no impact, then I'll just... Okay, yeah, I, I have to do a puzzle. Did I just take falling damage from a little jump? So what do I do? Should I just go click on all these? I noticed that that's not in the middle. Maybe that's part of it. Because these are in the middle. Oh, you know what? That thing will probably move off when I do the puzzle. So what's this? Came upon a river and headed south. Oh, these guys too, huh? Okay, so it's Owl. I think so, at least. Owl, Eagle. Horse and Lion. No? Okay. It's not even a door. Not even anything. It's just a... Weirdly colored wall. Oh. I see. I don't understand what I'm doing. Oh my god, I've been recording for a while. Um, I'll, uh, I'll figure out what the fuck I'm doing and then I'll come back uh, see you guys next time I've been Alfred this has been Cry of Fear thank you for coming by and hanging out see you guys in a little bit